Wait, body swap? What the heck is that again? Um... Oh, yeah, that's right. They added the feature where you can swap everyone's genders. Why? Well, why not, I guess. Just... Seems like a lefty thing to do. I don't know. <laughs> anyway, welcome back to Shovel Knight, guys. If you are still with us, because, you know, it's been a long time since I actually played this game, so... Like, I, would, I wouldn't be surprised if, like, people were, like, didn't want to watch anything until... Uh, you know, I start whatever the next thing is, which is, um, yeah, I was waiting for these guys to start electrocuting, but I guess that's different ones that do that. This really does remind me of a Mega Man. Isn't there a Mega Man stage or stuff falls like this? I don't know. Uh, probably. Anyway, what was I saying? Something about, oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And, uh, oh yeah, he's electric ones. <laughs> this, is, this is a funny recording though, because uh, usually, you know, I'll have the game audio coming out of my TV, because, you know, that's what... A normal person would do, but today I have it um actually coming out of my gamepad, which is all the way across the room from me. So it's a bit like quiet and like like you know it sounds like it's coming out of a small speaker, like a car. Well, not a car speaker. That's a bit too big, but um I don't know some other kind of speaker. Ow, ouch! Hey, hey, stop that! Nah. Man, this guy's annoying. I just want to go over here, man. Get the um, is there actually anything even of interest over here? I don't... I think it's just like gems, but you know... One can never have enough gems, I guess. <laughs> Let's use the horn here, actually. I'm getting lazy. Yeah, take that. Oh, gee, that's actually quite... Satisfying, I gotta say. So yeah, it's literally just gems. I don't... I'm pretty sure there's nothing else over here. There actually is quite a lot of, um, pointless secrets in, uh... A lot of games, actually. It reminds me of, um, Twilight Princess. I think I might have... No, actually, I never said this, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, even when I was doing the LP, um... Because... You know, in the, the Wii U version... <laughs> it feels so weird to say this, because, like, the Wii U version is the, like, remaster. But, like, the Wii U feels, like, so old? I don't know. <laughs> yeah, in the Wii U version of Twilight Princess, which is technically the remaster... Uh, like, they added a couple of, like, stamps, which I guess are completely friggin' useless now since Me vs. Shutdown. Anyway, because there's like new collectibles, and there's in some places where you know there's absolutely jack shit in the original. Uh, especially, um, I remember in like the first, oh, not the first field place, the field place where you, uh, wait, oh, hey, come here, you. Oh man, that was like epic, jeez. <laughs> I wasn't even trying to do that. That's the. F yeah, um, what's that? The field field where you get the horse, where you fight the goblin dude on the bridge. It's, like, it's I guess it's part of Hyrule viral field. Um, anyway, yeah, there's like three holes that you dig in as a wolf there. Where, like, there's absolutely nothing in the original, like some rupees maybe, so there's no reason to do it. But in the Wii U version, there's all stamps in there. So you want to get that, you know, 100% stamp collection thing, you got to do them. Which I actually had to look up, because I'm like, well, I have all the stamps, like, you know, all the... They placed all the rupee chests with stamps, because, you know, you definitely need rupees in that game. Well, you're more than freaking Ocarina of Time, anyway. Um, <laughs> can't see, can't see. Again, I was gonna say, <laughs> these these things remind me of a game. These, uh, things where you can, um, you go behind them? I'm sure there's, like, a gazillion games that have these, though. The first one that comes to mind is maybe... Crash Bandicoot 2? <laughs> Speaking of Crash Bandicoot 2, man. That for Switch, huh? You know, that's a... <laughs> I was almost... At one point, I was so close to buying a, um, a PS4 just for those, like, remaster or whatever the hell you want to call them. Oop, yeah, got up here. But, yeah, again, it's just like gems, though, but, you know, it's there, so I might as well go get it. Yeah, I was almost going to get a PS4, but I didn't, and I'm so glad I didn't, because now that Crash thing is coming out for the Switch, so I do not need a PS4, especially not to play the, um... Oh, get up, get up. Oh, shit. <laughs> I didn't realize I had to press a button to do that. I thought it would be automatic. This guy, you just throw the bombs back at him. That's, that's the pro way to kill this guy. Ooh, takes a lot of hits. I'm gonna die. <laughs> he just, like, cornered me, man. Uh, yeah, there are there are HP refills in this game, of course. <laughs> it's the chicken, the world chicken, of course. What would a retro game be without the world chicken? Just like that. And there's... More Jamies up here. Gems. 
What other game uses gems as currency? Um, Spyro the Dragon, that's it. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I, yeah, I'm pretty sure you can just jump across that, so you don't even need that guy. So, now. This here, I will never forget because... Oh, yeah. <laughs> no, because, um... The first LP I watched of this game, that's like one of the only things the guy missed, and he had to go, like, back in the level to get... <sighs> Who was that again? Um... I wanna say it was Exo Paradigm Gamer. I'm pretty sure it was. Does he still do LPs? I think he does. I don't know. I haven't watched him in ages. Since, um... I don't know, his videos got a bit samey. Uh, alright, who cares about you? <laughs> Speaking of people whose videos got samey, get a load of me! <laughs> oh boy. I wouldn't mind making some more, like, version difference videos or so something, but, um... Yeah, it's just, uh... I've covered most of the games I wanted to talk about, and... Like, there's a couple of games with some interesting differences, not enough to make, like, a video on, you know? It's difficult. These times we live in. Where the Fire Nation hasn't attacked yet. <laughs> uh, is something gonna come out of there? Oh, no, no, of course, I'm just meant to use a new item I got. Duh! Duh! I think this is a gold... Oh, no, this is actually a note, isn't it? No, it's a goldfish. Goldfish. I'm gonna go goldfish. Oh, it's an... <laughs> it was a note! Of course I'm wrong. Oh, we can kind of, like... Yeah, there we go. This level's very perilous. I, you feel like you make one mistake, off you freaking go. Like, uh, like that. I do like this, um, sub-item, I think is what they call in this game. Just makes the game a bit more fun, you know, zoomy-zoomy, speedrunner-friendly, because you can just, like, zoom and move faster. Things that make you move faster are uh, usually pretty good in games. It's probably why I like Plague Knight so much in this game, because, um, he definitely has some very, uh, <laughs> explosive gameplay. Pardon the... Uh, actually, that pun was completely, completely intentional, so don't pardon anything. That guy over there, he thinks he's so cool. What if I knock this back at you? Well, that's not gonna work, because I can't. It explodes. Oof. Oh, what? Well, at least you don't die if you fall off here. You just go back to the previous screen, which, in case you can die, I guess, if you, um... fall low enough. You have to fall quite a few screens, I imagine, though. Now, uh, just, yeah, just gotta use the item I just got. Is there no other way to reach this? I don't think so. Unless you're Plague Knight. Yeah, because, um, <laughs> since we won't be playing as Plague Knight, I believe... I might as well just go and say, like, he just, like, basically he has a double jump sort of thing going on. But he also has, like, this, like, it's his main attack, really, I suppose. He just hold the attack button down. And he'll do an explosion, which boosts him through the air. So, if you... Well, what is this? Can I, like, switch to the... Yeah! Oh, man, that was good. Usually, I don't like switching without, like, you know, in Mega Man. I, I, I always prefer to pause the game before I start switching. Man, bam. This thing uses our magic, right? Ah, uh, four magic. That's not bad. Let's get greedy, get these. Not that was that hard. Yeah. I think we're getting close to the end of this level. What was I saying? Um, uh, something about Mega Man? <laughs> that's all, that's always what it is with this LP, isn't it? Mega Man this, Mega Man that, this game is Mega Man. Uh, about Plague Knight, yeah, yeah. He has the, um... Yeah, so if you use the boosting on the ground, you move faster than usual. And, uh... Then you can, like, you know, do two jumps in the air, and you, so you do the one jump, and then you can charge the boost up again to push yourself even further, and then you do, like, the second jump, or I think maybe you can't do the second jump, because the first bomb bounce counted as a jump, I believe, maybe? I don't know, I'm, like, again, I haven't played the game in 11 months. <laughs> 11 months is the key word here. Uh, th these don't fall, do they? I don't think so. Yeah, so not much difficult about that. It's just, yeah, it's actually good game design, because it's uh, preparing you for uh, the uh, switch to the axe. Yeah, yeah, oh. <laughs> It's like, one, two, three, four. Yeah, it's like, <laughs> I've gotten used to it now. It's four. Ooh, oh, that was awesome. Man, get that. Eh, it doesn't matter if I fall screen. Oh, it does actually, because I can't get back up. Where are we going? No, oh, that wasn't that bad, I suppose. <laughs> Could have been worse. If I was to the left, I would have fallen on these spikes, and we can't have that, because that would be pretty inconsequential, actually, because there was a checkpoint right there, so... Wouldn't do a thing, because I just spawn right back at that checkpoint. I, I'm not breaking them. 
Yeah, this game, unfortunately, <laughs> speaking of checkpoints, the, you know, the achievement to um, beat the game without dying, it's actually kind of a cop-out achievement, because like, obviously, to beat the game in like one, you know, full session without dying, ah, oh, son of a bitch, would be uh, pretty impressive. But like, if you die in a stage, you can just like, go to the menu, you know, and quit the stage. Oh, I should be charge attacking this guy, what am I doing? That's the strategy, you can't forget you have that attack, you know? Oop, but also can't fall off the edge there. Actually, isn't there like a... Just use the horn man on these guys, like, stuff like this, it's not worth wasting your time for. Come over here, yeah, see? That's more like it, you stupid person, you. Yeah, so, um, beating the game, that, or getting that achievement anyway. It's just like, easy, because you basically just have to beat the stage without dying, but if you're breaking all the checkpoints, you're doing that anyway, so it's like... What's the point? Yeah, I better get this checkpoint here, because it actually is pretty easy to die here. If you're trying to rush anyway, which I... <laughs> especially when I'm playing as Plague Knight, oh boy. And then get back on my main subject I was talking about earlier though, uh... Like, moves that allow you to move fast, I always find like, it intriguing, because... It just adds an extra element to the game, you know, like... Uh, I don't know, like like Mario 64 for an example, like, you know, you can do like the dive thing to move faster, and it's not something you have to do, but like, if you can just like spam the dive and like, you know, run around like an idiot all day, it's quite, uh, interesting. Man, how did... Oh, Alright, you just gotta be up here, yeah, easy. Wind that only blows up and to the right. This ain't no Donkey Kong Country 2, because it only blows to the right and left there, not up. No upwards winds. Oh wait, hang on. Only in a separate level, not in- oh. That's what I get for, um, itching my foot and- <laughs> No, I'm not even kidding when I say this, I went to itch my foot with the, um, my uh, left hand, the D-pad hand, so I couldn't actually move to stop myself from falling off there. <laughs> ah, called it, yeah, got an amazing excuse, I totally didn't just fuck up there. <laughs> Well, I could, you could say it's my fault, but I'm not lying. I'm not lying at all. Uh, so you want to jump here? No, because you're just going to hit the spikes if you try to, like, speed. Yeah, because you can, like, jump onto that platform where the spike is there and, like, skip a wind phase, but it's, like, absolutely not worth it. Absolutely, absolutely not worth it. Now, yeah, Mario 64, jumping around like a spaz. Also an Odyssey, you know, just, like, you know, flying around with the cap. Like, you don't get too much of a speed boost with it, but, like, just doing, like, tricks off the walls and shit, and, like, you know, getting to places sooner than you should be able to, and I don't really think I can retrieve these that easily, unless I do this. Nah, it's not gonna work, I can't fishing rod here. Nah, I definitely want these, though. Can the axe retrieve? I don't think so. No. How am I gonna do this? How am I gonna do this? Oh, I know, we'll use, uh, this. I'm, I'm like, I gotta get this thing, man. I gotta get it. Oh, I'm, I'm, I need to hold up when I do that. Up? Well, it hits the roof. Up. Well, that sort of works. I mean, I don't really want to be on... <laughs> Come on, something's got to be able to pick this thing up. No. Ah, uh, definitely not. Uh, no. Yeah, fishing rod's the only thing, I guess. So... Actually, what I can do is kind of just use this and, like, jump backwards. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, there we go. That's how you do it. I mean, you just meant to jump across there. See, see I, I uh, moved the screen over. So, therefore, the wind stops. Because, as we know, that is how wind works in real life. Oh, shit. Well, you know, in real, just like the flying bags of money in real life, I suppose. <laughs> oh, back here... Man, it's not like me. I told you it was easy to die here. Well, especially when you're gabbering about bags of money and whatever the heck I was on about. Ah, oh, so now I'm just screwing around. <laughs> it's, it's like that thing, you know, you die, so you try to rush. You're not taking it careful anymore. I'm just trying to be a showboater. You know, people who haven't played this game in like <clears throat> 11 months really shouldn't be a showboater because, you know, that's not going to work out good. Absolutely not. So if I were to just go up here, yeah, jump, jumping to that won't like save any time at all. Yeah, I swear there was something, but ignore me. I don't know. I don't know why I would think jumping to that pillar would help. Oop, no, 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 no. Just be careful. Just be like one inkling, <laughs> inkling. <laughs> just be only slightly careful. Oop, oh, oh, oh shit. 
<laughs> man, this item's like too good, man. Thanks for the bloody save, you propeller thingamabobber. What is its actual name? I should be able to find out if I go into the menu. No, select. Yes, there we go. Propeller dagger. Thank you for the name confirmation. My good menu screen. Oh yeah, just like completely random. Yeah, jump on the jump on the rat. Don't freaking try to knock it. Because <laughs> if I'm not jumping on the shovel, I sure ain't as hell staying alive. <laughs> ho 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 ho! Who let dogs out? Yada yada. Shrek too. <laughs> Petite blue friend or sunset? She is beautiful, no? You racist French stereotype person, you! I'll kick your butt. This guy's actually, I, yeah, he's. Did you just like do this? <laughs> as long as you're like doing in the jumping and like sh shoveling downwards animation, he like can't touch you. <laughs> of course, that's until he starts doing that. And what's he doing now? He's throwing shit at me. Well, if he's throwing shit at me, I'll throw shit at him. See how he likes it. Ooh, no, I want to jump on him now though, and I don't like again. I'm switching items like. Ooh. Ah, French people must be immune to bombs. Oh shit. <laughs> All right, can we just like enough getting hit? Can we just like fall off the edge? Cause that that'd be that swell. That's exactly what I wanted to happen. Yes, <laughs> perfect, perfect score. Ten out of ten. Would do again. I'm dying so much, man. Oh, actually, oh, don't I, um... God, I really wish I could actually show you guys how I used to do this. I used to be able to kill this guy so quickly, but I don't remember. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> That's item abusal at its finest right there. Oh, I see he's switching straight to this since I damaged him so much. Can we get, like, a perfect? <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> take, take that! You see that, uh, previous Josh? Huh, I was only pretending to be retarded. <laughs> that was the real Josh, that's action right there, oh yeah. Oh yes, this is the last one. Yeah, I can hear the music over across the other side of my room, coming from the tablets on my bed, because I watch Crunchyroll at night time. So that's why it's over there. I can hear that we're about to do the Shovel Knight thing. Shield Knight, Shovel, Shield. Yeah, okay. So, uh, abusal of the horn. This is where it comes in, man. Kill the most enemies with the horn. And use your horniness to save Shield Knight, because you're gonna get some tonight with the Shield Knight. I just had to say that because it rhymed. Okay, yeah, she's about to come down, I think. Do you actually get anything with saving her? I, probably, I think you just get extra cash. Greediness prevails! Yes, got all. Yeah, perfect score. 10 out of 10. I gotta stop saying that because every well, I mean, everything's 10 out of 10. Give me that food. Yeah, you get more from the fire, don't you? No? Or maybe you don't get the meal ticket if you don't save her at all. You know, I don't think I've ever actually failed that, so I wouldn't know at all. Now, that stage took me forever because I died too many times. But yeah, there's our final stretch. Uh, two remaining level looking things. And also, I guess we can do this thing, and I can't remember if we did this or not yet. I don't... How much? That's, uh, 9 health. So yeah, I think actually... That is max health? Oh yeah. Yeah, I think I, th <laughs> I think I remembered as soon as the previous episode finished to see how many music notes you got. You have to actually beat the game first before it'll tell you, like, um... I'm just, I'm terrible at my, like, game... Like, this is like this right now. Because I swear there's a game that's like that. That's not this game. That tells you only after you beat the game. And its name is Metroid. Uh, did it. Yes, remembered. Metro Games. Fusion and Super, at least, I believe. Uh, <laughs> anyway, uh, enough of my rambling. Thank you for watching. Next time, I uh, will do this, and maybe some of this, and maybe some of this. Up, down, up, down, up, down action. Yeah, that. See you next time.